Hey everybody, this is Andy, back at it once again with some more NCAA football 2007 Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty action. Bringing you a uh, another outlet, something to watch, entertain yourself during this time of uh, pandemic, lockdown, possible panic. Hopefully everybody's calmer than they were, you know, every, just hope every day, people, that's, that's actually what I pray for every day is that people are calmer than they were the day before, more or less. More calm, more informed, uh, and just overall adapting to what we're going through. So uh, so I'm just here to hopefully give you a little entertainment to help you get through this time. And honestly, that's part of the reason I'm doing it myself is to help myself get through this time. Uh, I feel very fortunate that it's not really that difficult for me. Uh, I'm a software developer, so I'm, I'm working from home, so it's not too much of a challenge. But. Uh, a lot of people are having a hard time and um, not everybody has uh, you know a lifestyle or job that they can adapt so easily so yeah hopefully you're getting through it and we're gonna play some more NCAA so last game we played against Oregon it was at home ended up squeaking it out it was a uh, pretty good game I don't want to give any spoilers well eh, if you I don't know we won we won the game it was a nail-biter you should go check it out. It's on the YouTube. And actually, I'll probably, I will probably compile a playlist so you can click through the games in order because I have other videos on my channel. Um, they're much older, but still could be nice to have a playlist, so I may implement that at some point. So this week, it is at Washington, at the Washington Huskies. They Now, this is going to be a tough game. Now, the game against Oregon, Oregon was probably a better team rating-wise. However, this game is on the road. And Washington, I believe, is a tougher environment to play at. So uh, I'm going to have things like audibles will be hard to do. You'll notice um, for the first time, if you haven't played this or seen this game before, you'll see that when you're on the road, uh, crowd noise will make it harder to call audibles and call hot routes. So you'll see, you might see me try to call audibles or hot routes, and the players, if they can't hear the quarterback or they're not understanding them properly, They'll kind of put their hands up and take a step toward the quarterback, looking at him like, hey, I didn't catch that. And uh, something that affects the ability to call hot routes and audibles is the composure. So I've, I have talked about the composure a couple of times uh, so far. So you'll really see the probably main thing that composure affects is the ability to call hot routes and audibles, because that's a big part of football. And... Uh, on top of that, I actually realized in one of the formations that I run, there are two different slot receiver options. It's in the shotgun spread, and I'll point it out when I get to it, but in the shotgun spread, there's both a, uh, there's a play called motion receiver option. And so what I couldn't quite figure out is on the motion receiver option, you're supposed to motion the receiver, I think into the backfield. That's the only thing I can really figure out. You either motion them into the backfield or across the formation so that you end up with trips on one side. I don't know if it's technically trips. I don't know what you call it. Some football, you know, coach might correct me on that. But uh, basically, it's a spread formation, and you move uh, the player across the formation. I'll, I'll point it out when it comes in, when it comes up. And I, I couldn't get it to run right, and then I was just running practice mode because I'm like, how does this thing has to work somehow? And I ended up getting it to work. So we'll be debuting that play, and I like it a lot because now you have receiver slot options where the the pitch man can be on either side of the formation, which I think is fun and exciting and adds a new d uh, dimension to the offense. And so I'll probably be running that shotgun spread more, and I may even look to replace a, uh, a uh, formation or two that I don't use as much with another spread formation if, if there's a similar formation uh, in the playbook, because I think, I think it's going to be fun. So let's get to it. Fresno State at Washington. Again, this is going to be big for recruiting. This is a uh, Pac-12, well, excuse me, Pac-10 school. It's going to be big. We're trying to get some good recruits. we got to impress. So here we go. Isaiah Stanback. I remember him. That guy was a freak. He was good. All right, let's see what we got. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. 
It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Fresno State Little windy. and the Washington Huskies. 11 to 26, that will affect uh, kicking, the early season potentially. Continues, and we're here ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. I remember this game in real life, too. We, I believe we lost by one. The Bulldogs. In the final seconds of the game, we were down by seven, scored a touchdown, missed the extra point. Well, here's another goal for today's game. Don't throw a pick on the first pass of the game. First, first two, the only two picks I've had this season have each been on the opening play of the game. Yeah, let's go, Corso, although that could be a bad sign. We're 2-0 so far when Corso picks against us. The stadium just looks like a fun place to watch a game. It'll be fun to go there someday. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, wind is heavy, so I'm actually okay losing the toss. We did lose the toss, so we're going to take wind at our back at the uh, second and fourth quarters. So we'll be kicking into the wind right now. I prefer to get the ball, but my defense has been pretty good in the first two games here, so I'm, I'm okay kicking it off here because I think we can get it back. The only thing to watch for here is I think Stanback is an impact player and he's pretty fast. So we could potentially be dealing with some scrambling, which is pretty hard to deal with. Uh, yeah, he's impact guy. Yeah, we're gonna have to see, we're gonna have to see how this goes. I might manual control Riley just to kind of cheat up the guard against the scramble. Because the scrambling AI for these, ooh, come on, what is that? What is that? What kind of animation is that? I mean, I don't like to get upset this early, but my goodness. I mean, I guess what I need to do there is instead of standing in place, because I basically stood in place, I, I used the trigger to kind of strafe and square up. I guess I should have gotten myself into a little running animation so that I could run and try to try to pick it on the run so that I, so that I don't risk uh, floating, you know, not getting to the ball like that. Okay, I don't want to go cover two yet. Washington hasn't exactly lit up the scoreboard with So we're going to stick with uh, today, cover three at the risk of our run defense. The ball very well. You can't blame everything on the players. I haven't been very impressed with the play calling by this team. Either. Play action. He's Ooh. rolling right. Okay. Takes on the tackle. This is already feeling like a tough game. And you know, it, it may have seemed like the def uh, offenses in the first two games were somewhat easy to stop. Some games it isn't the case. Um, I don't know if it's just like how the AI works, that some games they're really on it, some games they're not, but sometimes they're really hard to stop. This could be one of those games. See, there he goes. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. He's all the way down. This isn't good. And good job by the receivers of blocking okay. once the quarterback passed the line of scrimmage. And give credit to I think the I'm gonna run. Recognizing the coverage and taking off. I think I'm gonna big, run. Let's see. Roberts. Game. This guy's pretty athletic. I'm gonna have him spy and cheat up on the run with my safety here. Okay. There we go. And he's taken down at the 21. Rankin gets three yards on the carry. Well that'll make it second down. Another thing I could try as well. Well, no, I don't want to do that. I was thinking I could run nickel. A nickel blitz, and actually hot, hot route the blitzer to uh, to be a spy. But I think I'm going to have to run some spy if I want to stop the stand back. Goodness. Ooh. Man, blew him up, too. It's frustrating. Hey, it's Heisman. It's the computer. They're going to be... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. They're, uh, the they're going to be pulling some stuff off. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there we go. Oh <laughs> I guess I need to stop squaring up. I need to stop, I get. Gosh, dang it. What is that? Look at this, it's just magic teleportation. I mean, the guy, okay, granted, the guy is twice as big as my guy. Oh man, anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Second down. Okay, here we go. This is the, this is the cover three that I wanted, so I can cheat up with my uh, my safety. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, it's third down. How's my spy doing? 
He, okay, he's chasing the quarterback. He's tracking the quarterback. That's good. It's this guy right here, I believe, Roberts. Yeah, he's he is chasing the quarterback, so that's what we want. <sighs> okay, this is making me nervous. Got our spy there. We'll cheat up with Shirley. Actually, no, I'm going with Riley for pass coverage. Looking to throw. He passes it. Yes. Good D. Ben, but don't break. All right, we'll go for the block. One reason I'll, I'm something I noticed that I kind of forgot about. If I go for the block and I run into the kicker, they actually take the points. Okay. So it's kind of a low risk. It's a low risk deal because the CPU literally never misses field goals. It just doesn't happen. They never miss. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, if you go for the block, you can either get the block, or if you uh, if you uh, run into him attempting the block, it's really okay because they'll, they'll take the points. Okay, twin, half back, twin, half back. So let's come right out into it and run that uh, the motion receiver option that I was telling you about. So it's this one A. So. What I figured out was you have to move the guy into the slot. Like this. Oh my goodness. Now, this is something I don't understand. Okay, I just ran this play about 20 or 30 times in practice mode. I don't know why. He fakes, he does this backwards fake handoff. I don't, I don't know why. He... The other, you know, I ran it 30 times, 29 times. The running back cuts in front of him like a normal uh, read option. So, who knows? So, uh, I'm going to run the ball again. Let's go back to our other staple, the other favorite. Right here. From their own 23-yard line. Second down, 15 to go. Okay, what's the spread look like? They have that star linebacker right there. Okay, this is a hard read on the left defensive end. He did. Oh, goodness. I tried to cut up the hole. I was looking at this guy. He uh, he stayed put. Normally, if he gets blocked initially, I will run it, but he did not. Okay, let's look at what we can do. Let's get Paul Williams in the slot. Gonna have to send him downfield. Let's do the split and drag. They line up at the 22. The if it's zone, he might be open. Okay, that safety is coming up. We also might go deep to uh, for, uh, Fairman. Yikes, I don't know about that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, actually, that's okay. That could have resulted in a pick. My initial read was I saw this completely clear out, but then what I didn't realize was this safety is over this direction. And if I throw it, Brand Stater's passes are not that good. This guy easily could, well, I don't know what he's doing there. He easily could have run up and picked it. So, ah, back to defense. That's what happens when you can't run the ball in Heisman. You end up at third and 16. Number 21 steps back deep to return the punt. He gets it off. Back to return. Number 21 takes it to 49. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Okay, I, I'm going to run more Ben, but don't break. I'm going to keep spying that guy. Going to cheat up with my safety. Washington sets up in the eye. He drops back. Looks. He rolls Get him. Go, oh, no. He's taken off. They'll bring him down. Okay, I overpursued. That was a bad user. John knows what I'm talking about. Madden players know what I'm talking about with bad user. It's second down and a yeah, yard to bad go. user. Ball on the 33 yard line. The Actually, I don't like this. Go I'll go back to cover three. They go with the run. Oh my gosh, that might. <sighs> Bad angle. Freaking hell. <sighs> Magically, they don't have full momentum. Not sure what that's about. I'm lucky, though. Okay, so last drive, thinking ahead to offense. Running the ball went pretty poorly, so I may come out with a pass and try to just get the ball to Paul Williams. I can't afford to uh, punt again. 
Well, I mean, I can. I'm playing the long game. I can't get into the mindset of, oh, I have to score, I have to score. We've got to move the ball. We need some first downs to uh, get a little bit of momentum back. So we'll see what we can do here. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's move Paul Williams around a bit. That's good. Okay, this kind of looks like zone, so Paul Williams might be open. We're going to block Dwayne right because there's nobody coming over the middle. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I guess if I usered it, he might have had a better chance to catch it. Oh, goodness. That's frustrating. But the young man on defense delivered a knocked the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver I know I talk crap about trying to run the ball in this down a distance, but it's uh, we have a chance here. Now, if they don't jump off. Oh, no, no, no. Just impede him in any way, and that's a first down. Okay. Let's go to the, what is it, it's like double unders or something like that. Uh, cross something or other, where are we at? Double cross, here we go. Okay, so wow, it's a lot of guys up by the line. This might be, okay, I think this is Paul Williams across the middle because of that late shift. Oh no, I hit A. Ugh. Okay, well, there goes that. So now it's going to have to be, let's go with this in-out combo. It's a longer developing play, but we need something like that. We might be able to get Paul Williams in single coverage deep. Okay, with that safety coming in, we might. That's also maybe double cover. What the heck? Dude, cut it out, guys. Get it together. Okay, I think I'm going to call the same play. But now we're pretty much definitely going to Paul Williams. Uh, actually, we're going to block Bear, too. There's no point sending him on that short. Undercut, rocket catch. Yes, yes. Good catch. <laughs> right at the sticks, too. God, we needed that. What a beast. So this is kind of uh, the anatomy of a rocket catch. So you'll see while the ball's in the air, he turns yellow. That's when I take control. The ball is going to land. Where is it landing? Like somewhere right about here. So you'll see me kind of flatten it out. So Williams is running. His, his direction is kind of like... See if I can do it with a stick. It's like to here, destinations to here. I undercut it and run more shallow because when you undercut it and then push push the catch button, so you'll see me, okay, see right here, I run pretty much straight at the sideline instead of downfield, and that causes them to go into like this super jump animation. So that's pretty key to these old games is the uh, the rocket catch. So there's a good taste of it right there. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Okay, this might be the last QB slot option I call for a while because they're lining up. They're they're not. They're not being fooled at all. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, you know, foot and mouth already. Or um, it's already that that worked out. I should be able to remember better, but I can't remember which formation gets Paul Williams the ball in the sweep. Okay, let's run the sweep. Okay, this is advantageous. They moved in. So if we can get any of those linemen to move. Nobody's moving. Snap it. Oh, nice. Get up field. Stretch it out. Okay. I, you know, I saw that coming, and I should have I should have known better. Here's another mechanic in this game. So the big hit. So they have hit stick in these old games, but there's a peculiar behavior where. If you're, it's like the direction you're running doesn't really matter as far as whether you can initiate a big hit. So normally you think if two guys, so normally you think if a defender is running right at the guy, you could you could truck him. But it's more of a proximity thing. 
Uh, I'm not sure exactly what all goes into it, but basically you can big hit people if you're just running behind them. You can land to them for a big hit. So see here, they're right here, they're running both the same direction, Paul Williams and the defender. Doing that, he hit, he can hit stick. So you actually get sucked back into a hit stick, and you can fumble the ball pretty easily that way. I'm lucky I didn't fumble it there. Um, if he wasn't an impact player, he probably would have fumbled. So I should have seen that. Whenever you see, Basically, whenever you see a guy running the same direction as you, you actually don't want to run away from him. Running away from him means you're more likely to, to get big hit, ironically. So what I should have done here is initiated contact with a stiff arm. If I do a stiff arm, I'm actually going to initiate contact and prevent, I mean, not maybe prevent the big hit, but at least prevent that situation that facilitates the big hit so easily. All right. We're moving the ball. Uh, let's run PA read flow. Got to do a little bit of passing and try to keep the uh, the defense honest. Okay, they're shifting over, but that linebacker moved. The bulldog with four so I think this is looking like the anatomy of a handoff to me. There we go. Get up. Okay, not as good of a hole as I thought. It's okay. All right, well, we're going to let the quarter run out. We've played a quarter. So I'm going to come out in a short pass. Let's run the slot whips, but I want enough time to be able to call. Okay, I'm going to try to audible to a uh, slot option. QB slot option. I don't know what formation this is, and also my guys can't hear me. Uh, this is not going to work out. I'm going to have to call timeout. The Bulldog call a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. We're going to go with coaching. We're going to coach backfield. I don't know. That slot whips play is not that good anyway. You know, let's call split and drag. We're just going to go all in on trying to squeeze it into Paul Williams. Okay, what kind of alignment now? We're going to try one more time. We're going to try the, uh, the, the audible. We have more time. Okay, enough guys heard it. Ah, goodness. And now they're in... I'm going to burn another timeout. I can't. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to call. I guess you can't call two timeouts in a row. God, I really screwed myself on that one. I mean, and here's what I was talking about earlier with the inability to call, uh, or at least reduced ability to call audibles and hot routes. If I could call a hot route right there or an audible, good to go. They come out on third and two. They come out with, they magically come out with six defensive backs. Because they know I'm passing, because the computer is freaking telepathic. So I want to audible to the run play. Oh, it should be easy first down? No, because nobody can hear me. So we are punting. And we also have this the wind at our back now, I believe. So the sky punt. Uh, I'm really hoping we can catch this maybe inside the 10. I'm not. I'm pretty out of practice on these punts, though, to be honest. So I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, it's going to float back. Oh, my gosh. I could have maybe even ran the guy into the into the ball. Whatever. We're just going to kind of do stick with the same deal, cover three, cheat up with our safety. There we go. From their own 21 yard line. Ball second and nine. Yard line. Rankin lines up in the deep back. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, oh, get on that. Get on that. Yes. Yeah. Nice hit. Who's laying the wood? Who was that? Replay? Oh, let's see. Who, 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 who was that? Who shot you? Oh, Macaulay coming over. Flashing? Dude, you do not want a piece of the flashing defender. Hell no. Did he get the ball to? It looks like it was good win. Nice. All right, we're back in business. See, that's why fourth down, that's why you punt. That's why you punt, man. Like, you, you can make plays on defense. Football, a game of football is more than just the possession. It's more than just the current possession. So we're going to see if we can run up the middle on it here. None of these D linemen want to move. And that's why, because they don't need to. They just decleat full on jailbreak left side. Okay. We're going to have to pass the ball a bit. So let's see what we can cook up. Let's see what we can cook up, cook up in the passing game. I like this in out combo. 
Okay, we've got two flashers on the left. It's a little frightening. We might be able to get Joe Fernandez on the on the uh, corner out there. Oh my gosh. No blocking. Wow, what the blow-ups, man. I had Joe Fernandez open too. I mean, this is, I mean, okay, granted, I do. I did throw a pick last game trying to throw that route to him. So the game might have done me a favor there. Okay, one thing to consider here, too, is that I have the wind at my back. So I could probably get sacked, for example, and still uh, and uh, still make a field goal from here. So, okay, we've got Paul Williams over the middle. I don't really want to force it into him because, uh, there we go. <gasps> that is NCAA on Heisman for you. Paul Williams looks open. He, oh, no. We got warp speed. We got warp boosters. All right, let's get us a field goal. See if we can cut into some of that momentum. Good, nice. He hit that one from way out there. Oh man, that was a beautiful kick. Fresno oh, look State. the green on Stitzer. Check this out. The uh, the dynamic ratings on guys. Watch his kick power. Plus four kick power because you made a kick. You know something you can do too. Oh, you know, actually, I think I used to do this. If you want to get really nerdy and really hacky, I think you can sub in your punter as like your uh, extra point kicker, and I think he can get plus kick power from making extra points, which means he can punt the ball farther. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh get on it, get on it, get on it. Oh, come on. Okay, can't get too greedy. Wow, what a read by by uh, Marcus Riley. As soon as Standback takes off, Riley is in there. That is awesome. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play head. So actually, I, something else I'm curious about. Where's my spy? Oh, he's right there too. Well, he kind of, he's kind of doing some kind of whirl about. He's getting blocked by an invisible man, or he's doing some kind of, you know, tangling with, tangoing with an invisible lady. Not really sure. Not really sure what he's, not really sure what he's doing there. But uh, you know, at least he's not getting blocked, I guess. Okay, our strong left. We're cheating. I just hope they don't throw to the right. Okay, good deal, good deal. So we're going to call the same play. Our D's been okay so far. We've had a, given up a couple of big plays, but that's okay. Okay, Riley's in the zone. I just got to make sure I don't I get over to my flat if he's passing. He is passing. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Okay. Ugh, that's frustrating. So where's my spy guy at? He <laughs> not really sure where he's going. Okay, not not so sure. So maybe he's not the best guy to have spy. Is this like an awareness issue? Let's look at some ratings. So Jason Roberts, his awareness is 74. It's not too bad. Klutz awareness is 80. Speed is 74. This guy's speed 76. Hmm. I don't know. So, like, awareness-wise, it probably won't make much difference. Also, it's very likely that, uh... Yeah, we'll spike clutch this time. It's also very likely that, um... Simply because Stanback has the dot, uh... Guys are just gonna kind of be less smart when they're getting, uh, when he When they're trying to tackle him, they're just gonna have a worse time. It's kind of one of the magical things about this game that I talk about your uh, willing suspension and disbelief. That's definitely one of the situations. Okay, third down. There's our chance. Okay, I'm going to go... Yikes, really not sure what to do here. Okay, we're gonna go with his lightning too. We're actually gonna put Riley on a spy. Put him like right here. Blitz linebackers. 
and just kind of play the middle here with Jenkins. We're going to give up passes. We just want to see if we can stop him on the run. No, no, no. That's frustrating. I get hit by the block here. Oh, and Riley just overruns him. Well, what happens is Riley is kind of in position to make a tackle here, but the QB instead gets engaged on McCauley, and there's no gang tackling, so that took out uh, Riley's ability to uh, try to make a play there. Okay, I may have to... I may have to... There, there's a defensive end, I think a linebacker end package. I might have to start. Oh, he's scrambling. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good pocket collapse there. I don't know if I'm being too myopic. I want to do, is there the uh, DE flip? Okay, there's a package somewhere where you can put your linebackers at defensive end. I guess if they're faster, better pass rushers. I didn't see it there because what I'm thinking about doing is putting Riley at defensive end and then um, and then having him spy, doing a defensive fire out for a spy. Stand back. Step back to pass. Looking. He delivers. <laughs> okay, good D, good D. Can't be too upset. Number 37 was the intended receiver on the play. Well, that'll make it third down. Third and 12. Okay, I think I'm actually going to not spy here because it hasn't been that effective. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, good D. Good defense. Was that a bat down? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, he hit, he hit the back of his lineman's helmet. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Two minutes left in the quarter. Because of the wind, this could be returnable. Probably not, though. Let's go, Barry. Let's lay down a block. Yeah, that's a fair catch. Okay. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Okay, let's run the slot whips. We gotta see to see if we can complete a pass to someone. Okay, this looks good. They have a lot of guys crowding the box. Let's see if we can block right. We got him. Let's see if we can get anybody to move on the line. Nobody's moving. First down, look at the throw. Out to the left side. Oh, my God. He These guys warp like I, I, at the 25. I mean, okay, it's also a bad pass. That's not a good pass. That was that was behind him. That was not in very good stride. Okay, I'm going to run this QB slot option. I caught a pretty good hold to run through last time I ran out of this formation. Okay, they're bunched in. This is going to be a handoff. I'm going to try to stretch it out. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoved out of bounds at the 42. Someone wanted a little head start there. Outside. Now, th there's something strange happening, too. I'm trying to switch ball hands, and the guy slows down, but he doesn't switch ball hands. I'm thinking, see, Eric, right here. I'm trying to switch ball hands, but it doesn't happen. I don't know. I don't know. Because I, uh, I basically want to free up my hand for the stiff arm. All right. Well, let's, you know, let's go with the, uh, the sweep. The sweep to Paul Williams here. Let's take a look at the offensive production number. Uh, 50 yards. It's pretty rough. Okay, this doesn't look good. I might try to cut it up the middle. There we go. Got my six. Let's see. Can I move Paul? Oh, Paul wins around a bit. There we go. It's second and four. Wow, they are so bunched up. Okay. Probably going to look for Paul Williams coming across the middle. Yikes. Okay, thankfully we got to jump off sides. I've got a hair trigger a little bit because of the bad uh, pass protection. Yeah, so let's see. I was trying to throw it to Paul Williams. So in theory, that's good, but he gets he gets uh, stuck on that guy. So actually, if I throw to Joe Fernandez here, how open is he? Probably pretty open. He's pretty open. Yeah. Anyway. The defender beat the snap that time. Yep. You could see his fingers twitching in his stance, ready to pounce. Okay, they're spread out this time. This could be this QB slot option. Okay, they move over though. So we might try to run up the middle. 
See if any of these guys want to jump. A little twitch here. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll take it. Get our two, two yards. We don't have all day, though, so we do need to kind of get it going here. Tough to pivot. There is another. Let's try this delta pivot right here. I want to try to get the ball to Paul Williams. Also could, I mean, Joe Fernandez could get loose deep, too. Since either R or B here. There we go. Get upfield. Yeah, look at that turn field. That's nice. At the 34-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Now the quarterback and receivers spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after First practice just working on their oh, timing. Oh, right. So this throw, this R post is is a bit iffy. They come out okay, with we're right. So if it's a man, we might just try to go to Joe Fernandez over there. I hope it's not. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, that could have been way worse. I'm just glad that wasn't a pick. God, if you, this, the passes from Grand State are so bad. I mean, I understand I'm dropping back 15 yards video game style, but, man, such bad passes. Okay. Second and 10. We've been having success running the ball, so we are going to take another crack with the slot option. Just have to see how they shift. They shift in. Okay. So if blocking holds up, we may go with uh, Paul Williams on the pitch. Go. Oh, man, he didn't pitch it. Okay, we have wind. 36 yard line. Okay, let's try to get uh, Paul Williams on a corner route. Which play was that? Oh, man, I'm going to have to call timeout. Yeah, I'm going to have to call timeout. Fresno State. With backfield, we need a good pass here. Okay, we have a minute and a half. Maybe, oh, you know, it's this formation. Yeah, let's go with this in-out combo. So that way I can look at uh, Paul Williams' corner out or B across the middle. That's probably Joe Fernandez. Okay, we're going to block Paul, uh, Dwayne Wright. See if we can get any lineman to jump. A little bit. Oh my gosh, that was bad. I mean, I tried to stay in the pocket too. Okay, Dwayne Wright got a chip block. Yeah, that had no chance. But it's okay. Stitzer, this 59 yarder, we can actually make this. Stitzer, uh, we have. Oh no. Where is the field goal? Stitzer has good kick power. We have wind. I like our chances here. Oh, we're out of timeouts. I didn't even notice the clock was running. Okay, here we go. Max power. Let's go. Let's go. It hits the crossbar. Hit the crossbar. I like. I like. I like how uh, Nestler, as it's in the air, it's got the distance. <laughs> And I love the pause as I break the record, like it pauses when the ball is over the upright and it hasn't even, it says, you've broken the record and the ball hasn't even <laughs> cleared the upright yet. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is the thing of beauty. Boink, we got the single doink. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to check that out in the replay because I think it said like I broke the record or something. All right, here we go. He sends it down for you. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Okay, six seconds. They do have three timeouts. Oh, I'm going to go. I don't like it, but I'm going cover two man. I feel like it's easy for them to complete passes against this uh, against this coverage. This is could be a run play, too. It's actually going to kind of back off. I'm going to let Riley have more uh, authority to do stuff. Okay, good, good, good. All right, that's not a bad half. Down four, we need we need to get in the end zone. But uh, hey, you know, we we survived the early charge by Washington. Um, we're gonna get the ball. Um, we got, yeah, we're not doing too badly. And I, I, I actually, I knew that this would be harder than the Oregon game. I mean, I, I didn't know what my chances were like against Oregon. 
because they're a pretty highly rated team. But on the road, on the road is just such a different beast. So, ah, oh man, I kind of, I haven't really, I've abandoned that uh, double option out of that original formation, the two back. But um, they've been crowding the line. Okay, here we go. Slot option, six defensive backs. Can I motion this guy over? I can. Okay, so we're going to do that, actually. Boom. Let's go. Okay, we're going to get down. We don't want to get hit. We don't want to get hit by that safety. We're not down. Motion receiver option. Oh, you know what? Let's run this. Okay, I, this is probably not the best idea I've ever had. But um, this is, we're going to show, I'll show you what we're supposed to move this guy in here. And I'm just going to go handoff because I, oh no, my God, get that. Terrible. Yeah, he looks injured. He got launched 10 feet. That probably hurt. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna stick. We're gonna go back to this in-out combo play. Blocked wing right. We got plenty of time for that. Truthfully, this is probably Paul Williams or nothing. Unless it's a really, unless Fernandez is wide open, I really don't want to throw it to him. Rocket catch. Give me that. And you might ask, why don't I run those plays more often? I just really don't like putting the ball in the air. You can get sacked. You can get picked. Especially in Heisman, you just really, it's really a crapshoot. So, uh. I really prefer to run and, and not roll the dice as much. Oh my gosh. I tried to juke. There's this is just not happening right now, man. Wow. Okay, I guess we're gonna try to pass the ball a little bit. Let us run split and drag. Get some guys going downfield. My first read will be to hit Paul Williams over the middle though, but if it's zone, I could maybe hit Sacone if I throw a good pass. Okay, it's just no time to throw. Sakone is open. Now, I, I don't, I just don't know. Like, do I need to stick in the pocket longer? I, this guy just, nobody's holding up. <sighs> okay. Uh, I feel like I don't really have any choice, but I, I think I need to run the, uh, the option pass here. Let's get Paul Williams in the slot. This is pretty much my only hope, I think, to convert this. Now, I'm really crossing my fingers here because Brand Stater has not fumbled. Really, I don't know if he's fumbled much this season. So, he's, there's a very good chance he gets hit on this play. No, I'm glad I didn't throw that, actually, because I threw to L in a panic, and he was covered. Y was open. Oh, man, look at Joe Fernandez running downfield. Oh, pardon me. Is that Sacone? Yeah, because I shifted the, uh, the formation. Yeah, he's wide open, free downfield. Fourth and 30. Wow. It's okay. Our defense has been holding up. We'll get the ball back. Number 37 awaits the snap. He gets it off. Number 21 fields it to 39. Just couldn't break free on that one. Now, Brad, he didn't have a lot of open field to run, but he did a nice job of making something out of nothing. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. Looks to pass. Oh gosh, that's such freaking cheap crap. I had this guy covered. Got him covered, right? Nope, he got the warp. It's a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. And that's 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 actually one way they can beat the uh the receiver some credit too. The uh, cover three. Made a nice catch for the first or, yeah, because cover two would, would beat that. Okay, we might try to snipe a pick with Simmons. I mean, no real guarantee that he'll catch it. Couple of yards at most on that pass. Gain of two. But we need to play on D. From the 40 yard line. Ten and four weeks. Okay, we're trying to snipe another one. Nope. Wow, I got blown up. And he got the first. Whenever you hear the band music come in and then you're questioning if you got a first, he got the first. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. 
Okay, let's they shift over and protect my man Riley here a little bit. Again with the run. Got him. And he's tackled at the 32 yard line. Couldn't get anything out of that. Second, Second and down and 10 to go. On the Ball on the 32 yard, yard line. Okay, we'll cheat up with Shirley. He dropped back. There he goes. There Double back juke. Are you serious? Yep. 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 Goodness. So, okay. So, third and four. We're going to stick with cover three. And I just got to hope that I can bat down something in the flat. Oh, man. The Husky. Go with the eye formation. Little formation shift around on him. Surveys the field. Got it. I could have tried to pick that, but I didn't want to risk it. Fantastic. Okay, they have win to get with, so they're good. This this field goal will be good from 70. It might go over the top of the upright. Okay, Marcus Riley's in the zone. He could possibly get in there. It's up. And it's through the upright. He had no problem splitting the uprights with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake. And another reason, too. Oh, I can't go back to the replay. But another reason I didn't want to go for the pick there is because... The, the way to get the pass defense animation, whether you're going to leap for a bat down or jump up for a pick, it's way more lenient on the bat down. So if you're if you're if you're a certain distance away from the receiver, you might be close enough to engage the bat down op, op, animation, but not close enough to engage the interception animation. So if you're not close enough to engage the interception animation, but you do the interception button he'll just do a bunny hop and you're going to miss entirely. So to me that's not worth it in that situation. I I want to get the I want to get off the field. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field. Okay, let's run. I want to get the ball to Paul Williams on the sweep here since we're on the far left side of the field. There we go. Here's the offensive production statistics. Hey, they're kind of bunched up, so there's some potential here. Let's see how they shift. They shift in. Oh, that's good. So let's see. Can I get any of these guys to move? Somebody move. Come on. Nope. Of course. Of course. They don't even get a big jump, and my guy gets freaking reverse kicked. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't like it, but we're going to have to do some passing. Okay, middle zigs. So we're looking either X across. Okay, Paul Williams post. Actually, might do be do Joe Fernandez on the out instead of Paul Williams. That's just too bad of a pass. I did I did precision pass it outside though. It is true. Okay, so let's have another let's have another go at the option pass. Where is it? Because uh, Fernandez got way loose deep downfield last time. And this is, I mean, this could end up as a touchdown. It's just a very high risk play. Has four receivers lined up here. Somebody move on the line. Okay, there we go. They'll run the option. There we go. Yes. Oh, great yes. For extra but look, man, if, <laughs> if, they, if they get me, huge loss. Okay. But this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. First, First ten. down, 10 to go Ball on the 37 yard line. Fresno State comes out in the shotgun. Okay, they got a bunch of guys in line. This actually could be a good opportunity for a pitch play. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Watch, 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 watch. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go, Drawn. Yes. He's pushed out of bounds. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Well, Sean Norton. Here's your chance, buddy. Yeah, look at that. All this field, you just know. Now, a normal pitch play in real life, you're never going to pitch this late. But in this game, if you can suck some guys in, you're, God, he just ate it right in the chin. He hurt his ankle, though. Not really sure how that works, but, uh, you know. All right, here we go. First and 10. Ball on the 40. 40 yard line. Fresno State. Lines up with three receivers. Here's the option. Yes, let's go. Oh, I didn't engage. 
but he dives forward. They pick up another one. Guys, great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by. Brian Stairs not back in yet. Okay, a little shift action. What if I do this? It doesn't change their shift. It kind of does. Run the Yikes, no blocking. Well, and it, it's it, part of the reason these are tough. My guys get knocked on their butt so often. If this guy doesn't get knocked back, I actually could maybe make something out of this play. Okay, so one thing I want to focus on here is I kind of want to run the clock to the fourth quarter. That way, uh, that way I can uh, have the win at my back in the case that I'll be kicking a field goal. Brand Sayers out for the game. Okay, this is an option. Okay, I may. This may be a handoff to Dwayne Wright. Let's go. Let's, oh my gosh, dude, we are. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. Hi. He's not fast. What can I say? Okay, we can afford to pass it here and potentially get sacked, so that's okay. Okay, let's run in-out combo. I know we kind of run this a lot. Look at Fernandez. Fernandez is on plus. Okay, they brought guys up. We're gonna let right. You know what? We're gonna let right. Oh, did I get the offsides? At first I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. Yes. Oh, that's huge. All right. We got another chance. Got another chance. I like the balanced formation here. Let's go. Let's go double cross with a normal layout here. Okay, now this is probably got to be Fairman or Paul Williams on the left side. Oh my gosh, too bad of a pass. He got hit on the pass. Okay, so we're. I mean, I gotta. I think I gotta kick the field goal here. Yeah, I gotta extend the game because if I don't pick this up and then they kick a field goal, it's over. He gets it up. Nice. And it sails to the upright. And he's gotta be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. Fresno this kid is just a side up kick. The kick they line up to kick this one away. Kicks it off. I guess I could try kicking it with some arc and see if I can pin him at like the five or something, the but ready to go again. not the feeling that ambitious right now. I've got to focus on real football strategy. Who's going to rise to the challenge? Washington comes out with an eye formation. Mm, I might have been Oh, okay, that's good. I tried to gain the snap count there, which I've... I'm not confident enough in my guys to contain stand back to uh, let them out there on their own. Okay, this is nice. I can cheat up. He's trying to strip there. They get about five yards from the halfback. Oh, interesting. Is there a spy? Double OLB spy? We'll go with that. They could be passing here, which would be pretty frightening. We're going to cheat up. I knew that I need to get these guys off the field. Oof, that scared me, and I'll show you. I'll tell you why. He starts to guard this guy, and then he just stops. He's like, "I'm going to chase him." Well, no, I'm not. Thank goodness he. Uh, oh man, yeah. Anyway, that was that happened. That was a thing. Why do I? Do? I'm just paranoid. These guys are offsides for some reason. He punts it. Okay, we've got a fair catch that. Signals for a fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the third. Okay, man defense. With that alignment, they might be, well, I might be able to break outside. Yeah, there we go. 
He's hit and got away. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement. Right Yikes, here. this looks all kinds of bad. Let's see if we can get him to shift a different way. Nope. Offsides, nope. Goodness. So many negative plays. Okay, let's go back to... It's not slot whips. I guess split and drag. I'm going to try to get the ball to Paul here. Okay, their safety's in the zone. They come out with four wide out. Back to throw. He's oh my gosh! I had. I'm actually glad that it got batted down because I'll show. I'll show you why. I saw the safety run up. I didn't realize he was guarding this guy. I was actually going to throw it to this guy. That would have probably been a pick. Third and fourteen. Go to the trusty. Cut their DBs in the zone. Paul Williams is also in the zone. We're going to block Dwayne Wright. So this is either. Paul Williams or Fernandez over the middle. Back to pass. Looks. Or Bear Pasco. Let's it go. He's taken down. Oy. He's so Thanks here, catch, this is where I got to start making tough decisions because I don't want to. I just, I, th I think I got to punt here. I, th I think I got to punt. I think I can make plays on D. Yeah, I think there's plays to be made on D. And uh, I don't want to give him momentum. I don't want to give him an easy score. Number 21 is back deep to return. Number 21 back to hangs it up high. Number 21 takes from the 10. Gets <gasps> Crap, and of course I get... <sighs> I went for the strip and I got the face mask. So, bye-bye punt coverage. Good play there. Okay, so only the 25, that's not too bad. So we need to run D. Okay, good. I'm still going to run a 4-3 even against the... Uh, Against three wide. Washington lines up with three receivers. Franken again. Good one. Brings him down at the 31 yard line. That's 100 yards rushing for the day, guys. You know, Brad, 100 yards is a great day. But the thing that I All right, here we go. It's our chance to get off the field. He's been able to accomplish that with such great effort. The linebackers shift over a little. Yes, let's go. Three plays, zero first down. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense that go round. and two. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. the ball away. Smith fields it at the 27. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. Well, Brad, this is only a one-possession game, but I think they need to get into the end zone on this drive. They have a little bit of time, but they certainly can't afford to turn the ball over here. They need points right now. Ooh, man coverage. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. The bulldog set up in the gun. Okay, he heard me that time. We're gonna go for the out to Paul Williams. Sometimes on outs they can have trouble tackling. Sky it? Yes, it worked. It worked. It worked. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we needed that. We needed that. Oh man, so on those outs, if you rocket catch, sometimes they'll run under you. And yeah, like he was going for the bat down. Oh man. 
Let's go. But but also, I mean, the, not everybody will do that. You pretty much need an impact guy that will really sky up and get it. Oh, man. Here we go. All right, we got some, we got some momentum. Okay, I'm actually going to try to gain the kickoff a little bit here. See if I can aim it upwards and try to tackle him. Okay, I went up just a little bit just to see. Still too far. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to go to a nickel because I presume they're going to try to pass. Okay, you get, I'm afraid that he's, uh, okay. They're running the ball? Yeah, they are. Brought down at the 28. Rankin gains eight yards on that play. I mean, I don't care for putting three linebackers out there in this situation, but they're not in a, they don't have a lot of receivers out there. Okay, move you over. Move, you, move over. Move over, freaking Marcus Riley. Gosh, dang it. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, here we're going to go ahead and go cover three. I'm not going to run a run D. I'm okay giving up a first down on the ground right here. I'm completely okay. I mean, somebody get there, please. Thank you. Okay, the only thing I don't... Okay, I was actually... What I was about to say is I'm, the thing I'm afraid of uh, is that I'm going to get into a hurry-up situation. Oh, no. oh, my gosh. I'm getting in a hurry-up situation with linebackers in the field. Okay, I can get those guys off. I'm going to go to a dime. Are you serious? Okay, do I need to run a spy? Oh, oh, LB Rush. Here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what we want. This is what I was looking for before. Actually, if I knew this was there, I would have done it. We're going to spy Marcus Riley. Okay, this is good. Oh no, 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 no. I played it right too, but man, I still did not get a favorable animation. I got lucky that he dropped it. So I took years of control. I tried to sag back because he was overrunning. He was running past the receiver. I needed to actually kind of get behind the receiver so that I could get my arm up. Oh my goodness. Frightening stuff. That is really frightening stuff. Let's see if I can cheat and get a uh, bat down here. I presume they're passing. I'd be surprised by a run. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Who was that? Oh, man. Is that Roberts? Oh, a good win. Very nice. Oh, that's the linebacker. That was the linebacker rush. Okay, we're going to go for secondary coaching. Oh, they have the field goal. Okay, the wind is against them now. We'll go for the block. Okay, I know I always said they always make it. This is a 55-yarder. Call time. Okay, I'm going to try to ice the kicker. I didn't even occur, it didn't even occur to me that they were in field goal range. What kind of kick powers our guy have? Let's see. Let's get let's get pre let's get pre triggered here. Let's get pre mad. He's 98 overall. 95 kick power. I mean, gosh, he's against the wind though. The kick is up. It's got the distance. He missed. We roughed him. Son of a bitch. Running into. God, they get another freaking try. Well, he's making this one. Unless, does he get minus points for missing it? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Now, 
just a bad I'm all upset. He'll get another chance at the kick. It's up, looks long enough. And it is good. Good snap, good hold, and great kick to tie the oh, man, of all the ways. This game, you just invent new ways to end games. This is this is just crazy. Now, basically, my calculation was I figured it was worth it to risk the ref and the kicker because I assumed he wouldn't make it. You honestly just never see these guys miss like that. It just doesn't happen. Okay, okay. Well, um, two timeouts. Let's see what we get on the first play here. Let's see if we get somebody to jump off. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of rattled. You know what? Let's try to get out of bounds here. We have the wind at our back. Actually, we, we need to we need to chuck one deep. We have the wind at our back. We can't just we can't just get you know we can't get too upset and uh, and, and call it call it like that. Let's go. Let's go back to the balance formation here. Uh, let's get Paul Williams in the slot. Get him on a post. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. Okay, I can't afford. Okay, he's actually in man coverage here. He's gonna pick it. No, nope. that's good. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Oh, third and one. Yikes. Oh, I would have liked to run the ball here, but you know what? I'll settle for a short pass to Bear. So we're gonna try to block Dwayne right here. We're okay just going to Bear. If they blitz, I could try to hit Paul Williams deep. They don't. So we're going to hit Bear, get that first. Okay, he got out of bounds. Would have been nice to run a little bit more, but... Uh, um, what was I going to say? Double cross. Um, his animation was just taking him out of bounds. So. It, it looked like he could have run more, but not, not really. Okay, we're going to block Dwayne right again. we got time. For him to not hear me a couple times, that's okay. Some D lineman move, please. Somebody move. Or not. I just get rid of it. Or not. I have two timeouts. Yeah, we'll call timeout here. We'll try to get one deep to Paul Williams and then call it good. Let's see. Let's run. I don't want to run option pass. Which one did I just ran? Run. I think I ran split and drag. Let's go back to. Let's go. I just ran double cross. We'll go to split and drag. Actually, I kind of want to flip this. Ooh, ooh, man, coverage. Ooh, man. I'm I'm launching this one deep. He drops back. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, yes. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Why would they call? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. I don't know why they would blitz like that on that in that situation, but hey. We, we got those user skills. And look at that. Breaking the tackle. Breaking two tackles. Look at this guy. This has to be Heisman consideration. This has to be. And also, I, um, another thing that I would like to point out is I understand the irony of uh, the fact that I try to run my game as trying to control. I try to I try to control. You know, uh, I, I try to take chunk yardage. I try to like just move those chains, move first downs. I don't mind punting. Okay, we moved it up two notches this time. Yet the last two games have both had a huge, uh, a huge play, a huge pass play at the end of the game. Oh no! 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 You freaking don't! No! You, you freaking did! Oh my God! <laughs> this game had everything. What a what a fitting way! What a fitting final play! That's unbelievable. I was about I was well I was about to chuck a controller. I wasn't about to hit reset. But I was about to be down to zero functional Xbox, original Xbox controllers <laughs> if dude runs that back. Oh my 
goodness. What a game. What a game. That was insane, you guys. That was insane. I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. And I gotta say too, it is true that impact receivers are pretty much OP in this game. Number nine, greatest game of all time. My God, let's see the instant replay on this. I want to see this. What? Just what happened? I mean, in theory, kicking it high like that. Oh, he just had a magic, a magic juke out of the. So he's headed right for this hole. Oh, his guy. So here, here. This is, this is like the perfect recipe for just pure pure uh, kind of uh, Three Stooges level shenanigans. So number six here, he's kind of running this way where the blue dot is. So he's running that way. I almost get in for the tackle. This guy comes in to block me because he's there. He can't run in. He just kind of Luigi runs into, and I'm talking about Luigi from Mario 2 where he just kind of run in place. He freaking Luigi runs into that guy, which allows him to not run into the defenders. And then once he's recovered from that kind of juke move, because you can see him kind of do a juke move. He's like, he does this hard step. He's like, oh, right plant, oh, juke. He doesn't go anywhere. His juke was, the juke was going to be bad for him. The juke was going to run him right into some tacklers. But because, because his little three stooger guy, it held him up. It allowed him to take off running. Oh, my God. And look at down here. What is this? What is this? This is this is some Arnold Schwarzenegger like just bodies. What do we got? What do we got here? Boom. 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 Just bodies. Oh my goodness. And over here too. How many pancakes on this play alone? Let's get the bird's eye. How many pancakes? Okay, maybe it's just those four. Well, holy cow! Look at this. You can see the battlefield from high up above. It's just it's just carnage. I mean, if if. If you didn't believe this game have, had rubber banding, you just look at it here. Like everybody, everybody, it's basically, it's basically 10 Larry Allens and a Deion Sanders against the Fresno State kickoff coverage team. Goodness. So how did we end up? So I try to, and here's, here's another thing that irks me too. Can, can you just engage like the, the proximity for engaging a tackle usually you just have to get close to him in the newer Madden games I think you have to hit a like you can hit a to engage a tackle I think you can hit X to do a dive tackle attempt and here you're just trying to get close to the guy that's all I want to do is get next to him I just want to get next to you who couldn't do it then you, this one breaks the tackle I'm like okay finally he's got it but here's another thing to consider and I'll, I promise I'm done I'll be done soon but another thing too in this game is when you're talking about breaking tackles there's kind of a limit on how many tackles they'll break so or I mean not really a limit but it's like each individual tackle it's less likely that they'll break so one thing that I didn't really think of at the time hopefully you forgive me for this for not thinking of this because there's there's a lot going on there's a lot at stake but um, Sometimes you get in these ridiculous situations where guys, it's like, oh, they hit the hole, they're running, they're running, they're running, and finally a guy gets there, broken tackle. Well, it's because it's the first tackle attempt of this entire play. He hasn't actually broken a tackle yet. So his tackle, you know, his, his chance to roll that break tackle is still at its maximum value because he hasn't, he hasn't broken one yet. So first one, nope, not going to happen. So here we go. So who's the savior? It's the kicker. It's the kicker. It's the kicker, the guy that hit the 59-yarder, the doink, the doink record breaker, saves the game, saves the game. Oh, my goodness. How about it? Player of the game. I know it said player of the game, Paul Williams. Player of the game is Clint Stitzer. Four field goals. I think four field goals, right? Five. Yeah, four field goals. What, I have four field goals and two touchdowns? No, three field goals and two touchdowns. Three field goals. Record-breaking 59-yard field goal, and guess what? Game-saving tackle. That's that's your player of the game. That is your player of the game. Oh yeah, savor that, Clint Sitzer, player of the game. Oh my gosh, what a game! That's that's an all-timer. That I mean, even for uh, for me, as many games as of NCA as I've played, this is an all-timer. All right, let's check out the stats and then get on with our lives. That was a bit much. I can't take much more. Look at Sean Norton. I said, oh, well, it's his time to shine. He, he sh Shine, he did. Four for seven, 159. Of course, I think a couple of those were probably Paul, Wright, Paul Williams bombs. 
Six for 205, long of 80. He had some rushing too, probably right. Three for eight. Okay, that's not that good. Two touchdowns. It's looking good, man. He's 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 our man. He is our man all the way. How'd they do? Pretty good running. So we didn't run that much. Oh, we didn't run that successfully. So considering how poorly we ran the ball, I'm pretty happy with that number of run attempts because you gotta you gotta keep the defense on us. And look, long of 17. I mean, he, he broke off some chunk yards. If you take off those chunk yards, he's probably averaging like one yard a carry. But a lot of those chunk plays got us first downs that are very important for moving the chains, obviously, and uh, getting momentum. Oh, what a game. What a game. Two tackles for loss. They probably had like 11, 5, 9, 12, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 tackles for loss. 17 negative plays. How do you... I mean, that's why that's why I'm able to make plays and still have it it's so close. I had 17 negative plays. Goodness. Well, that's that's one for the books. That is one for the books. Oh, well, let's check out our recruiting and then that'll make that'll be the video. So we're gonna save, of course. Oh my gosh. Oh. Actually, I guess we get we get two weeks of recruiting because we have a bye week, and I can actually discuss one other nuance of recruiting. So let's advance. So yeah, let's check out the recruiting. Ah, number one for this guy, number one for that guy. Defensive end number two, QB number two. So looking pretty good there. The rest of the peeps. We're going down. So this guy, we haven't dropped off that much. Oh, because we gave him 10 points. Okay. I was about to say, I, I was actually going to be surprised. I thought we gave him no points because usually you just drop like a rock. This guy, we're number two. And receiver, we're number two. Okay, okay. So, hmm. I may... I'm going to leave the points, I think, as they are because 13 and 10, even though it's less than these 18s, 13 and 10 is still a lot because I think the intent of this... Uh, system is for you to kind of be giving everybody some amount of points like oh I'm gonna give him nine and this guy nine and then other people are getting like three but I'm kind of gaming it to just go for the big fish or the guys that I um, think I have a chance at so I can even though I'm giving these guys these guys less I can still go up in the rankings because I'm kind of giving them like kind of normal normal to high points these are just very high 13 18 anyhow so we're gonna advance the week um, we have a bye week, and so the, this is the other nuance of the nuance of recruiting I was going to tell you about is when you're coming up with your schedules, you actually get hurt in recruiting your, your bye week. For some reason, recruits don't like it. The interest always goes down after a bye. So when you set up your schedule, it's you're much better off putting your bye weeks at the uh, either in like week one. Actually, I don't know about that, but so here, here the overall idea is if you put your bye weeks later in the season. Um, you're gonna not get penalized as badly because you because if you save your buys for the end, you're gonna have uh, you you may have gotten commitments already. So if you're at the end of the season, guys are recruiting. A lot of times they'll commit before the end of the season. That's actually kind of the idea is that they're in-season recruits. You're trying to get them to recruit to commit at some point in the season. So if your buy is week 12 or you know if one of them is week 12, you may not get any penalty recruiting for that because your recruiting might be wrapped up by then. So anyhow. That is that. So that week has advanced. So let's we have so basically one week went by, did nothing. So we're gonna check out recruiting. So here, okay, we're number one for that guy. So you can see the red arrow next to Fresno State. That means his interest went down. So um, we lost some footing. I mean, we he, we didn't get hopped in the rankings. Our ranking is still high, but for some reason his uh, well, he was not impressed with our football program. Dude, we're the Bulldogs. You're from Riverside. Who's down there? USC, UCLA. Those are jokes. Those are joke programs. Got to come to a real program that puts guys in the pros, man. So let's check out these guys. Then we'll be done. I've I've had enough NCA for now. I gotta. I just want to ruminate on that victory. That was something else. That was super fun. I mean, and that that's the kind of game where even if I lose, it was still a great game and it was a lot of fun. So that's to me the mark of a good game is. Even if you lose, you can be like, hey, this went that way, this went, you know, these kind of dominoes fell this direction, and that's just how it turned out. That's kind of my outlook all the time, as much as I can. I, I try very, 
as, as little as possible to get upset at game mechanics or weird, th weird things that happen in the game because weird things happen that are in my favor too. So, uh, anyhow, so, okay, actually, let's see, prospect information, trims list. So they got the little list icon, that means his list, he, they, they have a list of, uh, you can see there's only five teams on his list, so they trim the list as the, as the year goes on. That's kind of similar to real, uh, real life. Guys kind of pick out their official visits and all that stuff and uh, trim down their quote unquote their list, their top five, top three. Oh, Fresno's in the top three, whatever, that kind of stuff. So, anyhow, that is going to do it for this game. Uh, oh, let's see, if, let's check Heisman. Are we on the board? We're not on the board. That might take a while. Okay, that's okay. What about Player of the Week? Not Player of the Week. Adam Tafaralis, Colt Brooks. Wendell Octave, Nick Hawthorne. So we didn't get Player of the Week. But like I said before in the other video, if you're more well-rounded, you'll get better a better chance at Player of the Week. I think I only had a few rushing yards with Paul Williams, so didn't get Player of the Week. But uh, anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Another good game. Uh, I, ho I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I did. And we'll catch you on the next one.